Uh, I get a lot of requests to do bodies that don't have figured maple. So I went out and bought some alder wood from All Hardwood and Lumber here in Chicago. I'm going to be using Angelus Leather Dyes today on this plain body. I'm going to do a brown tobacco burst. And one of the keys when doing a brown tobacco burst with wipe on stains is you got to go significantly darker than when you're spraying it. So we're going to use Angelus Yellow here in the middle. Then we're going to use a little bit of black on the furthest edge. And then some coffee and chocolate to try and sort of fade the colors in. First thing we're going to use is some yellow. And we're going to lay that down in the middle so I get the color to soak in. I've got an old t-shirt. We're going to soak that in here, right in the middle first. We're going to put two coats of yellow on here. I made this body from the alder. I sanded it down to 320. We're going to come back with some coffee. And we're going to start darkening the edge here. Again, a clean rag. I always sort of do this in a teardrop shape following the outline of the body. Even my darker color coffee doesn't color in the wood that great. We're going to move to some chocolate next here. And chocolate's got a little bit of red in it. When you see guys do the brown tobacco burst, what they'll do is put a, a coat of yellow down and then they'll just brown it up on the side. That doesn't work when you're wiping on the stain. Just doesn't soak in right. Chocolate's got a little bit of red. Helps sort of blend the colors a little bit better. This time we're going to use the two coats. Cover that up. So this is the black. We're going to darken up this edge. And when I do this, I try and only really darken up that edge a lot because I don't want to pull the colors too far in. That's it with the black. We're going to come back with the coffee now and start pulling the colors in. And what you gotta do is put a lot more color down now. And get those colors to fade. Got 
Got to really rub these in. Come back with the black. Just darken that edge again. The trick is always to sand off slightly to get it to blend. We're gonna come back with my chocolate rag. And we're gonna start pulling that color now on the side. We're actually gonna drag this coffee all the way up and through. And I'm picking up a lot of the black and I just wanna bring some of that down slightly. You can see that nice color fading in. Come back with the yellow. And we're gonna get these colors to fade a little bit better. I know probably you guys were kind of worried at that point. Still a little bit darker on the edge, which is fine. Because I'm going to come back with some steel wool, pull up a lot of the color, and put one more yellow down. And that'll get all this yellow to pop on the outside here. You can see how much color has gotten picked up in this yellow rag. So the trick is to let this sit for about three to four hours. I'm gonna let this sit for about six, let it all dry, get some steel wool, sand some of the color out, vacuum it up, and then come back with one yellow coat, and that should get it to really pop and get that nice tobacco burst. All right, so we're gonna take our steel wool and rub off that top layer of color. The reason I'm using steel wool versus sandpaper is that the sandpaper is gonna load up real quick and it doesn't come out of the sandpaper. So steel wool, works really well in getting that top layer of color. So what I've got left then is this vintage-y look. So I'll go back with two hands, get as much color as I can out, and the trick always is to come back with one more round of color and get it to pop. So now that it's clean, I vacuum this all up, we're gonna come back with some Angelus Yellow, and we're gonna apply it here in the middle. We're gonna start in the middle and get that yellow to pop. You can see how much color I'm picking up right away. And once I think I've got the center nice and yellow, we'll come back and rub the whole body.
So what this does is it brings a little bit more of that tobacco burst down, evens out the coloring a little bit. If I really wanted to get fancy, I could add a layer of color on the outside, something like this. See, I need just a little bit of color here. It's a little bit darker here than it is here. Looks like it evens it out. And that's it. That is a vintage tobacco burst on an alder body using Angel Cellar dyes, yellow on the beginning, chocolate on the second round, which is sort of a brownish red, coffee and black on the outside. And I've got a really nice vintage tobacco burst without using any spray equipment. So. Thanks for watching guys, we will see you in the next video.